Hi there, artists. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a small clay sculpture today. And I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to make an abstract sculpture. Like, I don't know what this is. Abstract means it's not a bird, it's not a house, it's just a sculpture. Although this one kind of reminds me of Dr. Seuss. So what you're gonna do is you are going to get a chunk of clay and I'm going to twist it in the middle and break it in half. One half I'm going to use to create a base and the other half I'm gonna do all of the details. So for my base piece, I'm gonna choose the one that's slightly smaller and I'm going to make it into a sphere or ball-ish shape. Remember, a sphere just means a ball. It's not gonna be perfect. Look, mine's not perfect at all. I just did my best. And then I'm going to make it into a slab by pushing down. So remember, a slab is like a pancake shape. I want it to be about as thick as my pinky. Everything you do, you want it to be as thick as your pinky, but thinner than your thumb, all right? So you don't want really fat pieces because it could end up breaking. And you don't want really skinny pieces because it will definitely end up breaking. So I'm gonna keep making my base, which again, it's like a pancake. And then before I move on, I'm gonna make sure I scratch my name or initials using one of the tools. So my initials are, well, M for Miss and L for Langdon, but I'm gonna just, it is hard to scratch your initials. So for some of you, I'll be around to help you. Miss L. All right. So that's my base and that's gonna be the bottom. Flip it over. And then with my rest of my piece, I can make coils and spheres and pinch pots and anything else. So I'm gonna rip a chunk off and I can start with different things, but I like to start with a coil. So I'm gonna squish it a little bit to get it going into a coil, which remember is a worm or snake. And then I'm going to roll my hands back and forth to make my coil longer. I want my coil to be about as thick as my pinky. I can even roll it in my hands a little bit. I don't want it to be too skinny because then it will break when it dries. All right, so eventually we are going to paint our sculptures, but not today because they need to dry and be fired. I'll talk about more about that later. So there it is. So do you remember how to get one piece of clay to stick to another piece of clay? We cannot just jam it on there. It needs to be scored, which means scratched. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch wherever you want to put it. Scratch, 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 scratch. And slipped, which is that watery goo. Just put one or two fingers, slip, slip. And then now I could stick it, but I still have to push it pretty hard. So I can leave it just so it's sticking up in the air or I can twist it because it's still pretty soft. If your clay starts cracking, take one finger in the water and start rubbing the crack, okay? That'll help. Doesn't solve all the problems, but it helps. I can even stick it down to the other side and I can take water on my finger to smooth the cracks. But to stick it, I've got a score, scratch, 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 and slip. So I did my scoring and now I'm doing the slipping. I can have it straight up so it looks like an arch. I can bend it down, I can push it around. It's my sculpture and I'm playing with it to make it look cool, how I think it looks good. All right, so with the rest of your clay, you can add more coils. I'm gonna make a baby pinch pot, just a baby one, by making my a, a small sphere. I'm rolling my hands in a circle. You can roll them on the towel, because remember, we need to work on a towel. If we work on the table, our clay will stick, and, or you can roll it in your hands. So here's my small sphere. I could even just attach that, because it's still about the size of my thumb. But I'm gonna use my thumb or finger, and I'm gonna make a tiny pinch pot. I stuck my thumb in the middle. Now I'm using my fingers to pinch around to make a tiny pinch pot, which is a bowl and I could stick my tiny little pinch pot anywhere. I can even play with it and pinch it in weird ways. I think I'm gonna stick it right on top of my arch. Whoa, that's gonna be silly. Okay, so to get it to stick, 
You can use any tool. Forks work really well, but any tool. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch, 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 which means score. And slip, slip, slip. And I can stick it um, and really push it and make sure it's really stuck on there. So you're gonna do that for all of your leftover clay. You can make many itty bitty things that you stick on there, or you can make bigger things like bigger coils. I could do all kinds of things. I can make little flowers. I could do, again, all kinds of business. So everything should be about as thick as your pinky, no thicker than your thumb, and you're gonna score and you're gonna slip until all of your clay is gone. All right, everybody, I'm not finished because I'm too excited for you to get started. Help one another, be patient, and listen for where to put them. Don't forget your names. All right, happy arting.